I was just sitting here chopping a tree over here, and uh, this little guy showed up. <laughs> it's Epo. Alright, I think I'll keep him as a pet for as long as he stays around. Uh, we got some wheat growing down there. I'm going to put some glass around that and make a fancy little greenhouse. There's the tall intersection too right there. We just had three bread, but I almost died, so we lost it. And I'm going to fence this guy in, make sure he stays. But don't want him pushing me down any holes or anything. Got to be careful. He might turn on me. These things are evil sometimes. So yeah, just a big quick progress update. Uh, been gathering dirt by getting creepers to blow up on me. <laughs> Because I'm too lazy. I wish I had flint and steel. Because cutting down these trees is so boring. And I, but I do need to do a little bit. Just to get myself some light. I'm actually. I don't know. We could head to intersection 2. Maybe see if we can find some easy iron there. But I don't think so. I think Vex is going to make us fight for it. And we should go there equipped with food. Uh, down there is our rail line. That's the line I want to connect over to our other base. And this is probably just going to be our intersection 2 base right here. Our main base. So, I want to clean all this up. I want to get rid of these signs. Alright, but I've... This is all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to do a quick progress update. So, I'll be back. I don't even know what to say right now. I was just sitting here, kind of a tree. And I hear a hissing noise, and I turn around, and part of my fence is gone. And there's two slime balls on the ground, so, uh... Our slime friend passed about 30 seconds after we met him, unfortunately. Can't believe this could happen so soon. We should make a grave for him. Yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick. I've got a whole bunch of signs. I got some mossy cobble. I'm gonna make a nice grave for that slime. Let's call him Slimy. I think that's a good name. And then we should go get some sand and fire off a TNT in his honor. Get a sign. R.I.P. Slimy. Episode... 10? Yeah, t episode 10... Should this probably episode ten? You know, I'm just gonna go with uh, July thirtieth, twenty twelve, to July thirtieth, twenty twelve. He will be missed. Seven thirty twenty twelve. Yeah, there we go. That's good. He will be missed here. I need to figure out a good thing to say. We gotta honor his life. He will be. Hmm. Let's think here. Never hurt anything. No, that's stupid. <laughs> he never harmed a life. Let's go with that. Alright, RIP Slimy. And I feel like maybe we should put some lighting. I'll put a jack o' lantern below it. And also, we should probably plant a tree. It's important stuff here. Slimy's tree. Let's go with a birch tree. That way we can guarantee it'll grow well. And 
and I'm just gonna build a fence around that, I guess. And this tree will blossom. Rest in peace, little buddy. Rest in peace. There we go. I think that's that's nice. It's good that we did that for him. Back to uh, fixing this. So that was just our little progress update. Not really. So I'll be back. Hmm. Are you excited? I think he's excited. Hmm. Let's try this again. Oh, uh, you know what we can do? Need some wood. Pressure plate. Alright, let's go right over here. Come on, keep up. Keep up, guys. Hmm. Just in case we're blocking some of the routes off of the... Damn it. Ah. I'm gonna have a hard time escaping. Oh. Alright. Come on, get out of the hole. These idiots. Oh, there we go. This guy will work. Come on. Hey, you see me? Come on. Come on, dude. Oh, god damn. Come on in. Come on in, buddy. I shall call him Fluffy. Alright. Is he coming? Yes, no, maybe... Is he really stupid or something? Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Yes! There we go. And, uh... Oh, crap. One thing we need to do really quickly before he does it is... Close his head in. Can we keep him? He's so cute. Ha. <laughs> Idiot. Alright, so we have a creeper now. That was a very productive use of time. But we had some extra doors lying around, so why not? You can sit there and be our pet for a while. Anyway, look at all this bread. Look at all of this bread. We are set. We are set on food. Armor is a whole nother story, but that's another issue. So, here's the plan. I'm going to take a little bit of this bread. And, not a lot, actually. I want to only take a few pieces, just in case I get in a bad situation. And I'm just going to go with some blocks, a sword, and this dirt. And I'm going to head over to the base and grab some stuff. Mainly, I want to get a bunch of boats to bring over here from that one chest. I want to basically start transferring things over to this base. And I'd like to run a rail over here, actually. I might do that now. So, yeah, actually, if I'm going to run the rail, I need to bring a lot of blocks. So, I'm just going to go back to the base and run that rail. I'm just doing a quick update here so people know what's going on. And I will be back. Okay, everyone, we are back, and I built this minecart track now which can take me from my base over at the intersection 1 all the way down and then I connected this already existent rail to a rail you can see out there that goes all the way over the forest and it comes down on the other side and I made a little station right next to the rail that Vex had already installed for intersection 2 so I'm just going to kind of use his pre-installed rails and everything as well as I can to save me some work. But this should work. I think this rail works both ways now. I had to go and 
I had to be a little careful about my powered rails because I ran out. So I had to go back and take one powered rail from each of these so that there are only two instead of three. Oh man, that spot's dark. That needs to be fixed right now. That's very dark. We'll get back in momentarily, but I just want to make sure we don't get any like creepers on the track or something. That would suck. But yeah, we are going to t try one more time to take on that dungeon today. And that's going to be the end of the episode either way. Because, I don't know, this might end up being two episodes for all I know. This might be a whole separate episode. But that's all I'm going to do for this session today. So, I don't know if you're still going to be watching a video after that. Depending on what I put in, I don't know. But, we are going to sleep. And we're going to take a whole bunch of food. And we're going to go try to take that on again. And we got our whole mob proof perimeter here, aside from spiders. It does not proof us completely from spiders, but it's relatively safe. We got our gravestone for slimy over here. It's too bad. That's too bad. It was so sad. Sad moment. But yeah, we picked up some items over there. I'm thinking of making one of the tracks in this map musical just for the hell of it because we can and my mouse is frozen I really really need to fix that but I never have gotten around to it uh, flint uh, we actually want to make a stack of arrows right now at least yeah I think I'll I'll do that and I'll just make like I'll bring two stacks of arrows with me I can make like almost I think ten stacks with this much stuff so we're good on arrows for the most part this shift click, I swear, this is probably one of the best features in the current game. I mean, you get such an appreciation for it when you don't have it here. Alright, let's just make a couple stacks of arrows. So we got a nice supply. And we can throw these in here. Feathers don't go in here. Feathers go in the mob drops chest. Alright, so I'm going to get myself organized and all geared up with armor and everything. Might bring a spare set, just in case. And we're going to go take on that dungeon just really, really decked out and hope that we make it. So I'll be back when we're over at the dungeon, probably. Uh, this is interesting. Get the hell out of my wheat farm, you damn slime. You're going to ruin everything. You jerk. Oh. Apparently slimes didn't split in 1.7.3. Alright, that's strange. Uh, Alright, we need a boat. There's our boat. Alright, so we are decked out. We've got 8 pieces of bread and also 9.5 hearts. We've basically got 30 hearts. As well as two, 3 sets of leather armor. And some TNT and two stacks of arrows. So we're about as geared up as we could be at the moment. So I think we are ready to take on this dungeon. And if we can't take it on now, I don't know. We uh, we could get run ahead a little bit, I guess. So I'm just going to sail over that way because I think I'm going the wrong way. All right. Sorry, I should turn on Do Not Disturb. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. It's right over there. So we are going to try to... You know, we might... Nah, I'm just going to use stone picks. It's too dangerous if we break a pick. That would be bad. So... I think we can handle taking out the, taking them out, I think it would work. Oh, what's this? There's a chest. Uh, uh. Ah, anything good here? I'll take this sand for sure. I'll leave the rest for later, but I want that sand for uh, TNT. If I had that, I could have made two more. We would add six. 6 TNT, and that's quite a bit. 
the plan here is actually to use this TNT to our advantage. That's how I'm planning on fighting this. I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to break in the... The first plan is to run up there and seal up the entrance with a piece of glass. Just one piece of glass. That way I can easily break it open. And then I'm going to dig in on the left side and try to blow up those two spawners that I saw before. And that's... From there I guess I'll improvise because I don't have another plan after that. And if I have the time, I can always switch my armor out on the fly. Although it does not have shift click, which is annoying. Alright. Can I, uh... Alright, that should help clear out some of those spawners. Ah, god. What the hell just hit me? Uh, Alright. God, what is shooting at me? I don't see a skeleton. Oh, crap. Oh. Crap. Well, there we go. Oh, man. We're getting peppered. Alright, well, I think we took out those spawners, at least. And we've got plenty more gear where that came from. So we're all good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's not a one-shot in this? Damn. Maybe we shouldn't have used glass for scaffolding. That's the one downside of it. Uh, so let's take another round at this now. I should probably swap out my armor. That's why I brought three sets. So let's go again. Oh, you can shift click it off at least. And reorganize this. So we got one busted up set of armor. I put that wrong. We got one decently busted up set of armor and one good condition armor and we're down two pieces of bread. Aside from that we're only down like one TNT. So we're in pretty good shape. Still we didn't lose much from that. I would like to take out that ghast spawner but actually it might be better just I'm, I'm just gonna let that guy fly away. I don't want to go in guns blazing on this I want to do this nice and slow but I don't, I'm not sure how well that's actually going to work, honestly. God, I think there's more spawners in there or something. Oh man, yeah, there's a lot of skellies coming from there. Well, let's check here first. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Now we're in a good defensive position here. Nothing can really take us out at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is attempt to dig out a hole under these guys. Oh, that was a bad idea. Well, I guess it works. Could farm these guys all day. Alright, so I think I'm out of range of the spawners on that side right now. I'm going to try to slip around the back here, because I don't see many mobs, really. And let's try this. Oh, man. Where is he? Come on. Alright, let's try... I'm gonna try to get a better view of the room by placing glass here. Which will give us a much better vision of what we're up against. Oh, there seems to already be some glass here. 
Oh, that must have been mine from before or something. I don't remember placing that. Must have been in like a panic or something. Oh yeah, I remember I was backing up and I placed it as I went. Alright, so we've got a safe position here. Oh, hold on. What I'm going to do now is slowly make my way towards those spawners in a safe way, preferably. Oh man. Well, that's not helpful. Oh, ow. That, that looked painful. Alright. Let's kill all these dang mobs. Ah, that spider thought he could jump on me. That's a good one. Better than you, spider. Oh, we got a skeleton fight going on here. <laughs> well, that worked well. Yeah, let's just dig a trench right here. That way we get lots of mobs falling and nothing actually getting through for the most part. Alright, we're gonna have to go around this way now. Oh god, what is that? Oh, that's the gas spawner, isn't it? Alright guys, we are back. Sorry I got interrupted. Uh, so we just found the gas spawner, which is... Oh man, is that open? How did that get open? Uh, I wasn't aware that was open. Alright, so just gonna dig out this spawner really quick to get rid of the gas problem. If I'm actually hitting it. Uh, it looks like I did. But there's still more, apparently. Um, I wanna seal this up if possible. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, oh man, there's more. And yeah, my pick broke. Good thing I have a spare. Oh man! What is going on now? That's not good. These. I can't see anything because this f stupid gas spawner. How am I supposed to deal with this if the guy can't see it? <laughs> Alright, I think I might be better off going like this and going around. Oh man. Ah, ah. Crap. I want to knock these guys down earlier. Okay, I'm worried. These guys are... It's only a matter of time before these guys all go and kill me. Because they're going to blow blow up creepers. Man. Oh, I ate bread. Okay. It's ridiculous. Let's grind a little bit of stuff here. <laughs> Alright. Where is this gas spawner? It needs to go now. Oh man, that was a stupid, stupid move. What am I doing? Oh no, what? Oh my god. Again?